you are. There I am. So, the question of the night. Right. You have an actuation for me, what you did last week. Did you say an actuation? Whatever, I don't care right now. I'm in a pissed off mood. All right, Rocco, I don't know how many times I can explain this to you, buddy. F.O. goes out to the ring, he makes an offer. Hey. WAW Championship on the line against any Hall of Famer. I didn't have a match that night. I decided, why not me? Just took an opportunity, Rocco. What if you won the title that night? Well, I didn't win the title that night, so it's not really an issue. What if you win the title tonight? Well, if I win the title tonight, and I plan to, that's going to make me the WAW Champion, which is going to make me the Singles Division Champion, which is going to re automatically just place me in the Singles Division. So, I don't think you'd be happy for me. You want me to be happy for you if you win the WWE Championship? Yes. What the hell am I supposed to do when you're the WWE Champion? Oh, I don't know. Doomsday is right around the corner. You could enter the ladder match, win the Doomsday Championship. I hate ladders! Still? Okay, you remember Legacy? I clearly remember Legacy. I remember Legacy. You signed those little papers. I don't know what the hell you called them. Guess what? I didn't sign them. You got me in that. All right, so you don't like ladders? No. Uh, what's after Doomsday? Lord of the Ring. You can sign up for Lord of the Ring. You can win the Lord of the Ring Championship. Yes, and then you can meet me, the Jersey Devil, the WAW Champion, in the main event of Legacy, and get this, picture it, Trick or Treat 6. No, Trick or Treat 666. Tell me that won't sell tickets. That'll be huge. First of all, why the hell would I want to enter the Lord of the Ring match when we can beat Team Champions? So what, Carnage can come back and I break his knee again? Toxie comes back from the dead, I'll bury his ass again? And then did go get show up and I'll toss his ass out too? No! We're not facing each other at Legacy! Not happening! Okay, we're still a team, Rocco. It doesn't look like we're a team. It doesn't look like we're a team. So, you wanna talk about teams? Yes. What about this K&M combo last week? K&M combo? K&M combo, it never happened. I just happened to give Gino a New Testament in the middle of the ring. F.O. just happened to climb to the top rope and hit an F.O. splash. It was not a K&M combo. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know Gino was going to come out to the ring. It's not like this stuff is planned or scripted or anything. But he is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he um, is a Hall of Famer. So, again, my next question is, after Moody made her big announcement for tonight's main event, yeah. why did the K&M theme play? Oh, like I wanted that to happen. Again. Uh, why don't you talk to the guy that does music, because he probably saw the same thing you did. Actually, i got a funny story to tell you. Yeah? I went there and I talked to him, right? Yeah, you talked to the music guy. Yeah. He wasn't answering my questions very well, because I was shoving Black Licorice down his freaking throat! Why Black Licorice? Because I hate it! Everybody hates Black Licorice. Listen, Rocco. I don't know how many times I can apologize for this, okay? I am sorry that I took an opportunity last week. I'm sorry that F.O. went to the ring and decided that he wanted to put his belt on the line against another Hall of Famer, okay? But you know what? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I'm even more sorry that I didn't win. And that is a problem I plan on correcting tonight. Now, what I need to know is do you have my back or not? Do I have your back or not? Why not? I guess I'll have your back for tonight. Well, my question is, if I got your back, you're watching out for yourself, who's got my back? Who's got Rocco's back? Rocco. What? You complete me. I will complete your face with this boot! You're gonna complete my... Doesn't even make any sense. The following contest will be decided under singles match rules. It's going to go one fall in the 50 minute time limit. Entry for Ken for Chicago, Illinois. It's Jay Chill. We're back here on Aftermath. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see ourselves one on one action. Members of Asylum and Crash Course going head to head. It is Jay Chill making his way out here. Minus Sin, who is getting ready. For the Hall of Fame challenge later tonight, Jay Chilfin. Well, Sin kind of said, I guess telling you to stay away from the Jersey Devil will do no good. So uh, Jay Chill's got himself a match with Rocco instead. The funny thing is with Jay Chill is he remains pretty calm with Rocco. Entry, Entry second, Haley from Salem, Massachusetts. It's a Halloween Hellraiser, Rocco! 
as I was saying just a few moments ago, JHL seems to remain calm with Rocco and professional. Meanwhile, he keeps trying to attack the Jersey Devil and kind of comes up short every week with the exception of his first swing of a steel chair. But here comes a man who is none too happy with his tag team partner right now, the Jersey Devil. He is upset with the Devil for taking a WWE Championship match last week. He wanted to know what the deal is with the k &M combo, what the deal is with k &M's theme song playing last week here on Aftermath, and Rocco said on the way out, Rocco's got Devil's back. Who is, who is watching Rocco's back? That's the question Rocco wants to know. Rocco's watching Devil's back. Devil's looking out for himself. Who's watching out for Rocco in Rocco's mind? It looks like there is certainly tension in Asylum. Chill offering a handshake. Rocco a little hesitant, but he takes the handshake. Walk up in the center of the ring between Rocco and Chill. Side headlock by Chill. Mr. Happy was unable to get his first victory earlier tonight. Wonder if Jay Chill will have any better success here against Rocco. He's certainly got a big challenge ahead of him as Rocco is easily one of the best mat grapplers in WIW's history. And Jay Chill still a little lacking on the technique level. Rocco is in the prime of his WIW career in terms of his mat skills. So Jay Chill, like I said, most definitely has a large challenge up for him tonight here on Aftermath. Rocco trying to get out of that front face lock that Jay Chill has locked in. Very smart driving Rocco down to the ground. Cinching him more on the grip that he has on that front face lock. And when you got a mat technician like Rocco, one thing you want to do is keep him grounded and not moving so he cannot put you in any sort of submissions. Something else Rocco happens to be a master of, the submission technique. Going for the backbreaker, Rocco gets out of it. Oh! With a backbreaker of his own, pulling Chill back almost like he was going for the devil's whiplash, except Chill lands across the knee of Rocco. More than light suplex by Rocco, cover, and we only get two. Rocco lifts Chill up to his feet. Irish whip sends Chill off the ropes. Rocco charges and goes for a spear right into the knee. Drop block there by Rocco. Takes out the leg of Jay Chill. Rocco stomping on the knee there. Oh, slamming the side of the kneecap right into the canvas. Rocco has now grounded Jay Chill after that shoulder uh, flip right to the knee. Rocco dangling the leg of Chill, coming off the ropes, the opposite side, drop kick into the knee, in the corner. Chill's knee was dangling over that steel cable rope, so along with Rocco's feet hitting the kneecap, that steel cable and casing hit the knee of Jay Chill. It cannot be feeling good at this very moment in time. Rocco with a leg lock on Chill, punching away at the kneecap just a moment ago. end this match now. And Rocco breaking that hold. He's going for the Hellseeker. Wait a second, Chill going for the chill out. Not happening there. Rocco shoves Chill right back into the corner. Rocco saw that his lights almost went out on a chill out. And he quickly reversed the situation. Rocco with a hip toss across the knee. Rocco now backs up, comes running. Elbow drop right across the kneecap. That knee was bent up a little bit. Rocco straightened everything out by driving his elbow right to the kneecap, driving that kneecap towards the canvas. That could not be good for Chill's knee. It could be hyperextended. He could be tearing some ligaments right now. Jay Chill could be in some rough shape. And while Chill may have remained professional with Rocco this entire time, Rocco does not forget anybody who attacks his partner or gets involved in asylum business. And Jay Chill was just dragon screwed right to the, the canvas. Rocco pushed back into the corner by Chill. Chill up, but he's limping. Jump swinging DDT. 
as we've noted before, that's an old retro move of the Jersey Devils. We don't see that anymore. Schultz took the jump swing in DDT, and while he didn't do it tonight because he ran off with his woman, Mr. Halfley did do Rocco's old 10-punch combo following with a face cruncher out of the corner last week here on Aftermath. Now Chill and Rocco trading punches back and forth. Chill now getting the advantage, backs Rocco into the rope, sends him off with an Irish whip. Then we get a clothesline taking down Rocco. Clothesline in the corner. Jay Chill limping around, but he's still trying for some offense. He'd like nothing more than for his first win to be against somebody the stature of Rocco. Rocco off the ropes. Chill takes the legs out. That's it. That's it. You're finished now. Give it up. What's Chill going to go for here? He's going to go for the sharpshooter. Taking a page out of his manager's book. Doing the sharpshooter. It looks like he's been learning from Sin. That sharpshooter looks a lot better than the first time I saw it. Rocco now with a single leg crab on Chill. He's got it locked on tight. And Chill taps out to the single leg crab. What a victory here for Rocco. This is a back and forth battle. Jay Chill put up one hell of an effort, but he came up short here tonight on Aftermath. And what you've just seen here, a little cut of the camera, was a technical difficulty that we just overrode. No screen, no black, no nothing. So we're back here on Aftermath. Jay Chill and Rocco shaking hands. Good show of sportsmanship here on Aftermath. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe I'm even going to be saying this, but Captain Amazing, yes, Captain Amazing, goes one-on-one -on -one with Griff.